Hey YouTube, today I'm making a simple but tasty veggie sandwich. Trust me, you don't need meat for this one. So what do we need? First, some organic sourdough bread. Second, some zucchini. Third, we have baby eggplant. Fourth, some goat cheese. And finally, some good butter. I prefer grass-fed. All right, we need to prepare the eggplant first. Cutting it in two and then into thin slices. After cutting it, I sprinkle some salt and set it aside so it can draw out the bitterness, or so they say. Next is the zucchini. We'll cut it in the same style. Take off the ends and cut some thin rectangular pieces. Just stick thin slices of butter on the bread. You want it to stick and spread out evenly when you place it on the pan. First, let's cook the zucchini while we wait for the eggplant. Add a little bit of oil to the pan and with the heat set to medium, spread it out. Place the zucchini and add salt to taste. Flip them once they're brown. If you feel you slice them a bit too thick, they might need more cooking. So you can cover them with a lid. In the meantime, let's get the eggplant ready. To do that, I'm going to pat it down with a paper towel. Some moisture has built up where the sprinkled salt was placed. So let's just get rid of that. Okay, the zucchini is ready. Let's take it out. Now we can cook the eggplant. To cook the eggplant, we'll do the same way we did with the zucchini. I feel like these need a bit more to cook, so I'll put the lid on right away. After a bit, maybe five minutes, when you see they're browned, flip them. Okay, so just flip them and both sides should eventually be browned and soft. That's when they're ready. Now the last part, putting the sandwich together. We previously buttered the bread. You can probably not do this to make it easier to spread out the goat cheese, but this is the way I like to do it. Spread a thin layer of goat cheese as evenly as possible. Now in the hot pan but with a low flame, let's toast the bread and add the rest of the ingredients. The order doesn't matter, just that they're spread out evenly. Turn the bread a little bit to spread out the butter and top it off with another thin layer of goat cheese. Place the other piece of bread and by this time it's ready to flip. Spin it to spread the butter and squish it down a bit. It's ready once the bread is golden brown. All right, here it is. It's my favorite part, knowing that the bread is golden brown, crispy, crunchy, not too much, just perfect. And you know it's gonna crunch once you bite it. Let's cut this in half so it can be easier to eat. And now it's time to enjoy this gooey, savory veggie sandwich. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And maybe let me know of any veggie sandwiches you think I should try. Thanks for watching. Cheers.